All right, growth, mindset, math, math side, maniac, panther. Uh-oh, I don't know the formula for this particular shape. Oh, it's a trapezoid. And I don't even know. Oh, I'm trying to find the area. I kind of remember learning about this, but I don't remember. Well, we're in luck because on the FSA, you're going to have a, this nifty, very uh, practical and tactical conversion chart reference sheet and if you look at the bottom right down here is your formulas that's very nice of them all right so i again i'm just kind of taking the formulas here and blowing them up a little bit here now do you remember which one of these is for this particular shape the trapezoid first of all we could eliminate two of these formulas because they're not area they're finding something else but we have one two three four one two three four to choose from Let's get a, a little bit more blowing up here. Which ones can we eliminate? This one, that's volume. This one, that's volume. So if it's one of these, which one of these is for trapezoid? Well, it's funny, a trapezoid is probably our most complex figure. And so let's just go with the most complex one here. Uh, that's the one we're gonna use. But you might be looking at that. And, and so anyway, let's cross these off and go, wait a minute. It looks a little bit different than what Mr. Hoffman taught us. Let's have a look. Here's this one that they give you in the in the, the sheet. Here's the one I taught you. So it is a little bit different. It, it might even be easier. And it will be easier in some instances. But this particular instance, for this particular problem, it's not. It's actually more difficult, in my opinion, to use this one. Um, and I'll show you why. Because we're going to do, well, <laughs> I have to show you a step, another step to take with this particular one here. All right, so let's do this. Let's let's go ahead and do it the way they have it first. All right, so we're going to take one half of the height. And I always like to color code. So color code. Here's the height. Now, you see, here's another thing we got to make sure we're very careful. We're not using this nine for anything. All we need is the base, base one, base two, and height. That's it. That's not a height. That's not a base. So we're getting rid of the, the height is from the bottom of our object to the top of our object. Well, uh-oh, Mr. Hoffman, this is from the bottom to the top. So you're right. But uh, how can I say this? Uh, in order to be right, it has to be with a right angle. Ha-ha, that's why they give you this. So this is the right one. Get it? The right angle one? That's the one you want to use. So let's not use this one. Now that I made a mess, I'm going to clean it up. OK, so again, we're going to use the height. So which one is the height? Is it this 9 or is it this 7? Ah, the height goes from the bottom to the top, but it's with a right angle. It's straight up. Straight up. This is not really straight up. This is kind of like sideways up. We're going to go straight up to the top. There. That's our height. Right there. No slouching. See, this is a slouch. You slouching, number 9. So let's fill it in. Oh, I color code with yellow. Height is 7. Okay. Keep the half the same. Mm hmm base one and base two base one i like to think of blue this one is base one so we'll go blue 12. make that thicker oh that's better 12 plus base two i'll make red is this one remember we're not using you slouch or nine you slouch you're leaning over you leaning if you've got time to lean, you got time to clean. We're just going to clean you instead. Okay, so base 2 is 6. There we go. Now, let's see. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. It's you got to take half of 7, half of the height. I mean, you could do that. That's 3.5. And you could do this 12 plus 6 in here. You go 3.5. And you go 12 plus 6 is 18. I do 18 times 3.5. Enough! I don't like, I don't want to do all that. Let me show you what I'd rather do. Hold on. Okay, so I changed my mind in, in a certain sense. Because they give you that formula, we're going to use that one. We're not going to use mine. We could use mine, right? And I'm just going to put mine over here so-called mine. It's not really mine. I'm sure somebody else come up with that before I did. But this is how I came up with it to make sense from the actual shapes to understand it. But the order doesn't matter because in the end, after you, the only thing that matters, the only thing that really matters is that you do, well, see, I'll do it in green. 
you do this first. You add the stuff inside the parentheses. If you follow the order of operations here, you're going to be golden, and you're going to have options either way, whether you use this one they give you or the one that I taught you. You're probably going to use the one they give you because you're not going to probably remember the one I taught you, and that's fine. So let's just use the one they gave us. All right, let's watch, and I'll show you an option that we have for this. And you probably already have it figured out, maybe. I don't know. I'm still going to color code. I'm going to highlight that this time. We'll make the height yellow, the base. Let's see, what's this one? Base 2, I like to make red. Ooh, and then the blue for base 1. Uh, blue, 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 blue. There we go. So what's the area? The area equals 1 half. Now I'm just going to put times here. This memory still taught me times. Times 7, right? And then, oh, I didn't finish this yet. Base 1 is 12 plus base 2 is 6. Now, as long as we do that part first, this part right here, is going to be very nice options for us. So let's figure that out. So let's do that. 12 is 18. Now, we're going to I like to rewrite everything. I just rewrite the A, rewrite the equal sign, rewrite the half, rewrite the times, rewrite the 7. But right here, I'm going to put a time. Because that's what this means. If I didn't put the times, it would be 7 parentheses 18. That's the same thing as times 18. This is what I'm talking about. See, right here? If you did half the height first, you would have to take half of 7. But guess what we can do instead? We don't have to take half the height because we can change the order. We could do this. We could say, what about if we take half of 18 and then multiply by 7? Don't you like that more? Don't you? Don't you wish you had some easier problems? Don't you? Don't you? What well, we do now? Watch this. What's half of 18? 9. Oh! Just now bring it down. we got to still bring down the 7. We still have to multiply 7, right? Guess what? Oh, and if you know your times table is pretty good, which hopefully if you don't know, that's okay, because you can still be awesome at math even if you don't know your times tables yet. Uh, by the way, there's the 9 trick on this one. So anyhow, it's 63. That's it, rather than all that decimal, semesimal stuff. All right, so let's try another one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we already did that one. So yeah, let's just move this one out of the way. Because if you did use minus, you could still have the same options. That's fine. Let's try this one. <laughs> this is good. All right, I'm going to pause and color code. I'll be right back. OK. Oh, this is easy. The base is 10. This is what I have to do first. As long as I do these bases first, I'm in good shape. The other base is 6, so yeah, see? 10 and 6. As long as I add those up first, I'm not going to rewrite everything this time. I'm going to be a little bit lazier, and, and I'm going to call it smarter. Oh, don't read that. Whatever it is. Stop. Go away. You're not supposed to see that. I'm going to put that on pause, too. Hold on. Okay, I'm just saying it's like 448. If you don't believe me here, let me just pull this down so you can see for a second. Uh, where is it? Right there at the bottom right here. 448, and where people are still working. How dare they? Oh, wait a minute. I guess I'm working too. Never mind. Back to work. By the way, it's fun, not work. It's only work if you'd rather be doing something else. Well, there are a few other things I'd rather be doing, but this is still fun. Okay, <laughs> here we go. 10 plus 6, 16. See, I don't have to rewrite everything. Not yet. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to like kind of cheat, or should I? Just to make it clear? Maybe I will, just to make it clear. Oh, what's the height? Height. Uh-oh, which one is it? Is it the 6 or the 5? Remember, you got time to lean, you got time to clean. You're leaning. You're not the right one. It's the one that goes straight. Oh, and it's the right one is the one with the right angle. That's the right one. Haha, <laughs> that's the height. Okay, 5. So let's put a 5 in here. I'll color code it just to be clear. And I guess I will rewrite everything since I already got this far, right? A equals that. A equals 1 half. Now of now I want to put my times because that means times five times sixteen. See what I did? See that? I hope that makes sense to you. Now we got to pick. Which one do we want to do first? Do you want to do one half of five, or 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 do you want to do one half of sixteen? That's yeah, that's what I'm saying right there. Let's do one half of sixteen first. What's one half of sixteen? Eight. So we already did these two, so they're gone, right? What are we left? We still have to multiply by this 5 here. 8 times 5 is the answer. Answer, and it's 40. 
40 what though? 40 inches squared. That means you could put like 40 little squares in, in here that are inch by inch. Like each little square is, let's see, it's one inch on this side, one inch on this side, one inch on this, because it's a square, they're all the same. One inch on this side, right? We can fit 40 of these, if that's not the scale necessarily, inside of here, we might have to cut some of them, like cut one here, cut one here maybe, until they can all kind of, and then fit them in there somehow. Oh, by the way, did I forget my units on this weather problem? I certainly did. What is the units here? 63 what? 63 square units, or we say units squared, but the units they give us, they're inches. So it's inches, inches squared. 63 inches squared. Yay. Let's go. Next problem. All right, we'll move mine out of the way again. Boop, you could just live right up here, nice and tiny, like, and watch from the balcony. Color coding, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Let's see, one half. I might cheat a little bit here. Oh, they're giving us decimals? How dare they? Oh, well, let's see what we can do with it. Ah, 1.2. The red one here is 8.8. Oh, this isn't going to be so bad after all. I can kind of see already. I am pretty sloppy. I'll try to clean it up a little bit. Just a little bit there. Okay, 1.2 plus 0 0.8. And if I color code it, that might be helpful as well. Here's the 0 0.8 is the base 2. And base one is 1.2, as long as we do these first. And I happen to know, I like to think of 1.2 as $1.20. I like to think of 0 0.8 as 80 cents. That's what I like to do, you see? 8, 9, 10, which is $2. All right, $1.20 plus 80 cents is $2. But even if you don't add the, like the money, you can do it 1.2 plus 0.8, and you're going to still get this. 2 plus 8 is 10, carry the 1, 8. Nine, eight, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> two. One plus one is two. I'm trying to multiply here. That's addition. Okay, either way. So it's just, it's really two. So I'm going to put a two here. And the height is, uh-oh, which one is it? 2.7 or 2.5? You slouch. You're leaning. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. by. Oh, the height is a right angle. They, oh, here's the, where's the right angle? I, it's covered it up. It's up here this time. The height is right. <laughs> the, place, the price is right. The height is right. The height is a right angle. Oh, 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 I love it. Okay, so where were we? The height is 2.5. So we can take half. See? Half times the height times the base, the total base, which is base 1 plus base 2, which is 2. So what do you want to do first? Do we want to take half of 2.5? First, I don't think so. I mean, you could do that, but that's, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, no. Let's do this instead. Let's take half of two. That's way better. Oh, guess what? This problem became super easy all of a sudden. What's half of two? One, right? We come, that's, that's, that's it. Now we still have to, mo oh, we, come here, you. I'm trying to get my highlighter back. I still have to multiply that by that 2.5 right here, right? I'm just going to, for fun, I'm going to do this. Multiply by 2.5. And that's so easy. What's 1 times 2.5? Uh, 2.5, because 1 times anything is that any, whatever that anything is. 2.5 is the answer. Crazy. 2.5 square feet. So that would be 1 square foot, 2 square foot, which is not to scale. I have to pretend like these are exactly the same. And then half of a square foot. So I'll shade in. One, two, and then a half. That's what will fit inside here. But obviously, it's not to scale because this is like, it's going to be some big feet. <laughs> big feet. Bigfoot. Bigfoot lives. Bigfoot is real. Okay, that's a whole other story. Next. I think we already did this one. No, it just looks the same. Let me see. Back up. Oh, no, we didn't do this one exactly. But I like the numbers here a lot more. They're a lot more friendly than those nasty well the decimals weren't too too mean to us they got kind of nice when they got together they were nice but when they were separated they weren't so nice i'll color code i'll be right back okay got some color coding here i'm going to finish color coding i'm just going to go from left to right this time so i'm just going to rewrite this Ooh, holy hordy horses here a area equals one half 
Let's fill in the height. Oh, which one's the height? The height is right. Here it is, the right angle one, which is, oh wait, they want us to find the height this time. They don't give us the height. Oh, that's how this is different. So we just have to put an H here because we don't know what that is. We have to, they want us to figure that one out. All right, let's keep going then. What do we know? We know that Mr. Hoffman is crazy. Well, besides that, we know that uh, one of the bases is four and the other base is 10. So I'll put in it this order. I like the blue plus the red. Base one, base two. Do, 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 do. Base one is 10. Base two is four. Uh, what do they tell us? Oh, the area. They actually tell us this time what the area is. This is high level stuff. So we can actually, instead of an A, we can change that because we know what the area is. It is 42. Uh -huh. They're really changing things up on us here. So now what? This is algebraic stuff. Wow, this is high level stuff. I think we can still do this though. We can add 10 and four to 14. We could still say an H here, because that's where when I, we're trying to multiply that right by this 14. We still have half in front of it, and we have 42 equals. Okay, we've got to try to get H by itself. So this is, stu this is tough. Um, hmm, how do we get H by itself? See, that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find this thing right here. We have everything but the height. I could divide by 14 on both sides. I could, mo oh, I can get rid of this half. Ooh, I'm gonna change the order of this. Watch this, hold on. Okay, so all I did is rearrange the order around a little bit, right? This, uh, what is it called? Commutative property, I think. You can change the order and it'll still be, you still get the same answer with multiplying. And I put in the multiplying singles in between everything here. Got rid of these parentheses here because all that parentheses means is we're multiplying the H times the 14. So we, I just moved it around 14. Half, eight times h times half. It's half times h times 14. h times 14 times half. Just move the order around, that's all. The reason I did that is because what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply both sides by two, right? If multiply both sides by two, if I multiply this side by two, which is really the same thing as two over one, multiply this side by two, and watch what happens. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, this one of my most favorite things in math ever, ever, ever. See how there's a two here on the top and a two on the bottom? They cancel out. Now you're just left with one over one. See these one? These two canceled out. I, that's not very clear. Let me see if I can clarify that for you. If if but watch, what if I showed you this way? Maybe this might help. One times two over two times one. That's what this is, right? One times two over two times one. So what do you get? That's two, one times two is two, two times one is two. You're still gonna end up with one. No matter how you do it, you're gonna get one is the answer. So we can turn all of this stuff here into a one. Let me clean that up. I like the cancellation way though, because if you think about it in canceling, it really kind of like can be applied to lots of different things. So again, I'm going to put my one half and I'm going to multiply by two, but I'm going to put it in the form of two over one. So this cancels out, this cancels out. Now, on the other side, I can do two times 42. Hold on. Oh, I can do that in my head. Two times 42 is 84, 84, right? Now we still have equals the height because we didn't do anything with the height yet. Height times 14 right and everything else is gone so we, we eliminated this and we just brought that down here so now you can divide by 14 on both sides to cancel out those 14s cancel out here but whatever you do to one side you've got to do to the other side so not the dark side though stay away from the dark side um, unless you're just going to destroy the dark side that's another story Whew. okay eight I'll be right back. I don't know what 84 divided by 14 is. Let me see what happens. Okay, so I kind of did the math. 84 divided by 14. I figured it out to be 6 because 14 times 6 is 84. Remainder 0. So the answer is 6. Oh my gosh, the height must be 6. So let's go here. We can go put the height is 6. You could work backwards if you wanted to check this. I'll do it really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. 
I'm going to pretend like I don't know what the area is. And I'm going to put one half. The height is six. Ooh, this time, the formula they give us works really nice. I'm going to take advantage of that. 10 plus 4. So all I have to do now is area equals, and I'm going to put this together. I'm going to say the height, but I'm going to do half of the height. What's half of 6? I'm just going to bring it right down here, 3. All right? And I'm still left with my 10 plus 4 over here. Now, area equals 3 times, what's 10 plus 4? 14. So, what is 3 times 14? Just to clarify, this is 3 times 14. Okay, I just did the math. 14 times 3 is 42. Is that the area? What was it, first of all, square meters or meters squared? Yes, that's what they told us it was. So, we did it right. Green check mark, big smiley face. I want to be done, but there's one more problem here. They're having you find the height, but I think I'm done. Oh, am goodness. If you are still here, you are going to love this because I just found it way easier. Maybe you could find this easier way of doing this problem. I did all this crazy fraction stuff. I was like, wait a minute. Well, do I really have to do all this fraction stuff? Guess what? You're in luck. Not really. A little bit of fraction, but not the crazy fraction. Just some basic fraction stuff. Did you notice it? If I erase all this, we don't have to do all this division. Oh my gosh, watch how cool this is. Can't believe I didn't see this right away. That's right, I'm, I'm going to praise myself for finding it now, because now this is so cool. I can go forward for the rest of my life and know this, and so can you. Instead of doing all that stuff, before we did like, you know, the multiply by 2 over 1, what if we did this? What if, what if we just said, hey, let's take, and I guess I'll use green here for because, I uh, don't green. So I'll just circle in purple. What if we take half of 14? Just take half of 14 and turn that into one thing. What's half of 14? It's 7, because 7 plus 7 is 14. So half of it. So yeah. Okay, so 7. So now I'm just going to I'm going to rewrite this half and for just a 7. A 7 times the H. That equals 42. Now I don't have all those. All that it's not it's so much better, I think. So now all I have to do is say, well, what do I multiply seven by to get to forty-two? Seven times something, that's our height, equals forty-two. I can rewrite it this way. Seven times something, that's our height, equals forty-two. And now we're getting some more basic facts. So we don't necessarily have to do crazy division. Hmm, seven times ah, seven times six is forty-two. Oh yeah. So guess what our height is? Our height has to be 6. Oh, and that's what we got the other way. This is so much better. That being said, instead of doing all that junk, let's try this one with the same thing. I kind of already did the first few steps here. We This time we know the area is 700. See, 700. And see, I already combined the base. I added the two bases together, base 1 and base 2. And so Seven hundred, and then we have half the height. The base, base. We put the bases together. Twenty-two plus eighteen is forty, right? I had to be careful with that because I did a little boo-boo, and just so you know, because I did thirty for a moment there. I, I was one of those uh, <laughs> eighty percent of the people that don't get math. Eighty-eight percent of the people that don't get math. Okay, whatever. All right. So anyway, eight plus two is ten. Just be careful. Two, three, four. That is forty, not thirty. Okay. Now let's switch this. to Seven hundred equals. Now I'm going to put the height. Because the order doesn't matter. Times half. Times 40. Color code. Dun, dun, dun. And this time, we're just going to say, oh, let's do half of 40. What's half of 40? 20. 20 times something, our height here, equals 700. And just so it looks a little bit nicer and not so intimidating, I'm going to rewrite it. So the variables on the left side, I'm going to put 20 times h times something equals 700. What do we multiply 20 by to get to 700? I'll try that out and be right back. Okay, so what I did is I did 700 divided by 20 because that's really the same thing, right? That's going to give us our height in the end as our, uh, what do they call that thing up here? Quotient, right? And so the 700 is the dividend, and then the divisor is our 20 over there, which is really the combination of 
the base and the height, but it's half of the base and the height combined. So yeah, because remember we took half of the base and height rather than just half. Oh, not half of the base and the base. Oh my gosh, half of the base plus the base, not half of the height. Duh, because this time we're not using half of the height. We're using half of the base plus the base, which is a 20. All right, so now we end up with 35 is the height. 35 what? 35 square inches or inches squared. No, it's not square. Because that's a distance, not the area. Brain time. It's late. Let's go. Time to call it a day, everyone. Let's see. Let's just make sure we got this right first. 35. Yeah, see, I didn't tell you in the answer. 35 inches. I'll check it just to be sure. Okay, so we're going to pretend like we don't know what the area is. Uh, area is half. Oh, we're going to say we do know what the height is this time. So we're going to fill in that with 35 and see if we get the same thing. Half of 35 times 22 is 40. Ah, this should work. So let's take half of 40. What's half of? Could We could take half of 35, but that's no fun. That's more work. 40 is such a nice number to take half of, isn't it? It's like half of you, and you're going to turn into 20. But we still have to multiply that by this 35 here. Oops, no, I don't turn upside down. Just move down here for me, will you? Thank you. And that should be our area. What is 20 times 35? Do will we get 700? Let's find out. I love to do my disappearal zero trick. Nothing up my sleeve. We're going to pretend like this zero is not there for a moment. We'll bring you back. That way I can just do 35 times 2. And uh, let's see, 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 3 is that's 70. I can just double check that because I can just say, oh, that's just the same thing as 35 plus 35, isn't it? 35 times 2, 10. Yep, 70. Okay, so it's 7. Now I've got to go abracadabra, bring back that 0 that I disappeared. There you go. There's the answer. 700! Yes! It's a good day after all.